Hey guys, Ryan Ferran here with a quick Ken Burns effect in iMovie tutorial for you. So once you have your photos on your timeline, I went ahead and already did that. So you go in to edit or you pop in your photos. The Ken Burns effect is already kind of set to default and it will do the Ken Burns effect for you. So it's nice. So actually if you want to lay in a bunch of photos and create a nice slideshow. You can do that. The Ken Burns effect is in there. So if you're wondering though, how do you focus on a particular point in the photo and get it to move from one direction to another direction? Here's some next level tips and techniques that will make your Ken Burns effect even better. So what you need to do is put the white line there over the photo and then you touch the photo that you want to edit. Once you touch the photo, it will highlight and let you know that you can edit it. So you'll see it's now highlighted in yellow. And then you'll see the Ken Burns editor pop up in the bottom right of the video to the top. So what you can do is pinch in. See it says pinch to position to start. So if you're clicked on the left arrow, if the left blue arrow is highlighted, then you're now controlling and pinching where you want the effect to begin. So if we want it to begin on the yellow truck, we just take our two fingers, zoom it in there, and it's on the highlighted blue, the left arrow, so we know that's where it's going to start. So now if we want to figure out where it's going to end, we click on the right arrow with our finger, and now this is the position it's going to end. So if we want to adjust that position, we want it really zoomed in on the grill of this truck here on the right, we can do that. And then that's where it will end. So we yellow truck to start, and then it's going to zoom in right there on the grill to end. Now if we want that to move slower, there's a couple things we can do. I like my zooms and the Ken Burns effect for the most part to, to move kind of more slowly and a little bit more dramatic. A quick move, especially if somebody's watching on a bigger screen, is it's gonna go really fast and make them a little nauseous at times. So I like to go slower and lean towards the slower side. So there's a couple things you can do. So obviously don't zoom in as much. So I'm gonna click back on with my finger on the photo that I want to edit. So touch it, the Ken Burns editor will come back up. You'll see the right arrow highlighted. So now I'm positioning to end. So if I zoom back out, take my two fingers, zoom back out on the green truck, um, and maybe not as far over to the right, it'll zoom slower. So we'll see what that looks like. So now that I'm not so far zoomed in, it won't have as far to go, so it'll make it slower. The other thing I wanna do, say I do really wanna get back a tight shot on that grill of the green truck. So I'm gonna click on the photo again. The editor for Ken Burns pops up, the right arrow is highlighted blue. So I do wanna, I'm gonna take my two fingers, pinch in right on the video there on the top right, really close on the grill and the license plate. So that's where I wanna end this shot at. But you see it's gonna go super fast, a little nauseating there because the, the photo's only up for five seconds. But if I have time in my video or my slideshow, whatever I'm working on, I can extend the photo to make it show longer and go slower. So how you extend the photo is just tap on it with your finger and then at the edge of it where the yellow is, the big yellow border, just simply pull to the right while you're dragging it. So you can make the photo as long as you want. So, you know, it started at five seconds and went kind of fast, but if we make it 20 seconds, you'll see the difference here and how much slower it moves and kind of more dramatic, but you'll get to your end point. It just takes more time. So again, so our second photo, say, so click on it again with our finger, it'll highlight it so we know we're editing it. And then the left arrow is highlighted blue. So say we want to start with some of our heads cut off, I'm going to just do that and zoom in, and then click the right arrow to figure out where we're going to, to zoom out to and then it'll show our faces like that. I'll adjust it and so now you'll see 
kind of start with no heads and hey, there's everybody there. So that's how you can adjust the Ken Burns effect. If you just throw some photos on the timeline, it'll automatically do it for you. In most cases, it's great. But if you want to focus on a particular person or subject in your photo, we'll use this one, for example, one more time. So I touch on the photo. I'm going to touch on the left arrow to figure out where we're going to start. So we'll start right there in a normal spot. But I really want to focus in on uh, Dr. Vanal's doll on the right. So I'm going to click on, again, the right arrow. And I'm going to zoom in on him because he's the focus of what I'm talking about, the track behind him. Uh, so I do it by adjusting it there. So then now the Ken Burns effect will go from wide shot and then it'll focus all the way in on Dr. Van Alsdahl. Again, if I want to make that slower, I could um, lengthen the photo so the zoom will, won't be as dramatic or be just more dramatic probably but not as fast. Or if I want to shorten the photo again and not have it go so fast, I'll start the initial one and click back on the photo a little bit closer to David, a second to the right and it should slow it down a little bit for you so it's not as dramatic. So that's how you edit the Ken Burns effect in iMovie on your iPhone. I hope that helps so you can mess around with where the photo and the effect starts and where it stops.